Hello? Is anyone there? Where am I? What happened? Oh, hello? Can you lend me a hand? I don't seem to be able to move. Hello, Professor. You? Oh, thank God. Thank God. That's a curious phrase from your lips. Don't read too much into it. It's just an expression. Strangest thing. I can't feel my arms or legs. Oh, not to worry. I've reevaluated a few things, and I've realized you were right. Is there an ambulance on the way? I can't move. How did I get here? What happened? You've made a strong case. Made a believer out of me. Oh, that is funny. I see what you mean about expressions. Please, I can't feel anything below my neck. Was there an accident? I wish I could remember. That would be because of the knife I've wedged between your C5 and C6 vertebrae. The what? You can breathe and talk, but not much else. Pots? What have you done? Your lecture really had an impact on me. I've come to realize you were right. There is no God, no afterlife, no heaven, no hell, no reprisals, just us. Potts, you can't really do this, it's wrong. It's not wrong for me, maybe for you, but you're not me. I've been wanting to do something like this for a very long time. But why? Why now? You've opened my eyes. When I was a boy, I used to drive nails into toad's heads and wriggle them around trying to scramble their brains. Amazing things, toads. They have these tiny little brains that seem to function perfectly well, even when you drive a nail straight through them. As long as you don't sever the link, they act as if nothing is wrong. My daddy would beat me black and blue, but it did no good. Pain is only momentary, you know. Soon as the beating stopped, the pain was gone and I could go back to the task. Yes, but you're not a child anymore. You're a grown man. You've learned that this behavior is wrong. <laughs> you are a funny man. You take away the only thing that kept me... sane. Then you dare to tell me I know better than this. Ah, that's right. You've puzzled it out. Physical punishment didn't do a damn thing to hold my demons in. My parents were at their wits end. Between my dad beating me when I was bad, and my mom trying to reward me when I was good, didn't work, by the way. Rewards were motivation for trickery. If she believed I was good, she had to give me the treat, or I might have been... disillusioned. She couldn't have that, even if she knew I was still being bad. It wasn't me, Mummy. I swear, those were from before. You believe me, right, Mummy? But you've been good. All this time you've been good. Are you familiar with exorcisms? Never mind saying I know you are. They work, you know. The subject must believe, but they do work. You do know there are no real demons, don't you? Oh, there are demons, all right. We build cages inside ourselves to hide them. But they're always there, waiting, watching, biding their time. But you don't have to open that cage. You don't have to let the demons out. Easy for you to say. You don't have to deal with my demons. When I was 13 years old, they did it. They gave me a cage and helped me shut my demons in. My desires, my needs, all locked away nice and tidy with the help of the village priest and the dark man he brought with him to our home that day. They performed an exorcism on you. They locked me up inside myself, and all I had to do was believe it. You took that away from me. You proved to me the cage wasn't real. The demons got out. I am free once again. But don't you see the demons aren't real either? Oh yes, they are very real. They were there at the beginning, and they will be there at the end. Alpha and Omega. The God that kept them cage has been destroyed by truth. Your truth. And all that remains in me now is their truth. My truth. That which I am and have always been. 
But even if they were real, you kept them under control. You did that. No God, no priest, no cage. No, not me. Yes, you. I've convinced you there's no God, no cage, no priestly power. But even if those things are not real, you still kept your demons under control. But don't you see? It was only because I believed in those things. But it was still you that did it. Believe in what you can't deny. Believe in what there's proof of. Believe in yourself. You still don't understand. I want to kill you. I'll enjoy it. That's what I am. That's not true. You've been a good man for so many years. Only because I believed, ultimately, that I would not get away with being evil. I want you to understand one thing while you still live. And then I'll scramble your brain and see how coherent you remain. I am a Christian without a god. Take away my god, and I am pure evil. I always was pure evil. You have released me. I can stop pretending now.